Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. Rose Forever New York is a New York-based luxurious rose brand. And right now they have a massive 60% off sale for this Mother's Day. You can also add an additional $25 off of your entire order using my special discount code Gina Moon 25 and get free shipping using my other special discount code Gina Moon. You can find the direct link to Rose Forever down in the description box below. Surprise a special mother with roses in a box that lasts for one entire year and choose any color you desire. A huge thank you to Rose Forever New York for this beautiful rose dome bouquet what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy and your dominant energy basically represents the energy that's influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future energies, what's coming towards you, what's in your challenge position that you need to overcome this month, how to overcome that, what's in your opportunity and what action and device is here for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive right in to see what's going on for you. Also quick reminder that this is a general reading. So take it as it resonates. It could also be that you can reverse the role. So if you feel that the roles are reversed and go ahead and do so. Also, this can be for your sun, your moon rising or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well as those might resonate more with you than this one. You are starting with the dominant energy of the, let's see, this one's stuck. Okay. Here we have cat spirit. Claim your independence with the number 13, which is equal to the number four. This for some of you guys has to do with the focus is going to be in your family dynamic, where you come from. Okay. That's sort our of thing where you live, not for everybody, but here with cat spirit, claim your independence. Okay. This is all about you kind of feeling self-reliant. Okay. Not that you never are. I feel like you're always self-reliant, but more so, okay. Claim your independence. This is all about you doing something on your own. If you feel stuck in a situation that maybe you cannot get out of, you have to free yourself and claim your independence with cat spirit. As you can see, cats are very independent. They're very different from dogs, okay? Dogs love to be around people. They love attention. Not that cats cats don't, but cats can actually, you know, just be on their own. You know, cats usually, if you leave them to be, they kind of are chill, you know, they find their own thing to do. Whereas dogs, they kind of always like to be beside you, right? Cats kind of like a, are a little bit more independent. They need their own time. They need their own space, okay? So claim your independence. Be more like a cat. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going to happen here for you. What's going on here for you. All right. And you have here the page of cups reversed as well as a star could possibly be the energy of Aquarius. We're going to go ahead and clarify each and every position. So don't you worry. Okay. All right. So let's see what else do we have here? Could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Let me move these up a little bit. Make sure that you guys can see. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, what do you have here? You have the 10 of swords. Wow. Okay. So you're going to have to find a way to release some kind of painful cycle. You might've been feeling backstabbed, betrayed, that sort of thing, but you're going to have to accept it as a closure, learn the lessons. Okay. And release the pain. So some kind of a painful cycle. I'm also getting that for some of you guys, you might reject somebody, somebody here or something here coming in. You might say, you know what? No, not today. This is not for me. I do see here with the page of cups. Also somebody here who made a promise to do something, they may be changing their mind. They may not be keeping that promise, but I see that for most of you guys, you will be saying no to something or someone you will be rejecting something. Okay. Or someone now in your challenge position, you have here, the star could be Aquarius energy for some doesn't have to be, but here with the star. Okay. Being in your challenge position, it's not going to be easy for you to find healing. It's not going to be easy for you to get over it very quickly. And you know, I mean, it goes without saying here with the 10 of swords. I mean, look at this man. He literally has 10 swords on his back. Okay. It's not easy to recover from something like this. So don't put pressure on yourself, go with the flow, but also remember that you need to find your independence, claim your independence 
from also sorrow, from pain. You know, claiming your independence could be from anything. It could also be from something here that has haunted the corridors of your mind, like the past, okay? So here with the star, like I said, it might not be easy, but I do see that it will be, um, you will be able to, to start the process towards healing. Now here with the Knight of Pentacles, I see that you want to plan something for the future. You are planning something, but here you want to be strategic. You don't want to go fast. You want to go slow. Okay. What the Knight of Pentacles is saying is that you have your eyes set on something or someone, whether this is career related, money related, family related, love related, but you don't want to rush. Okay. You don't want to rush. You want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. You want to make sure that you have a plan and you want to make sure that you have a strategy because you do want to win. Okay. Now also what the King of Cups is saying is that the root of the issue is the fact that you are blocked off emotionally. Okay. The root of the issue as to why you cannot find healing, or it's going to be challenging you for for you to find healing is because you're not allowing your heart to open up. You're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Okay. Whether it's with yourself to accept something here, or it could also be with other people around you. Okay. Now I also see here in the recent past, you were in a commitment. There was a lot of money, a lot of wealth, a lot of stability in the situation could have been a marriage, could have been a situation here with regards to family, or it could also been a union. Okay. It was very stable. There was a lot of, uh, perhaps a lot of money as well. Okay. A lot of wealth, that sort of thing, or it could also just be a long-term type of connection. Now coming towards you is a brand new person, a brand new energy, the King of Wands. This person here knows what they want. They're a go-getter. And this person actually has a plan and their eyes set on the future. This person's not just kind of like wanting a surface level connection. No. They might seem like that at first because they're very extroverted. This individual is very, um, you know, they might joke around. This person might be that kind of energy where, you know, they kind of like to do their own thing. They like their independence. But I feel like this person is actually very mature when it comes to what they want, how they see themselves in the future. And so this is a mature energy that you will be meeting. So be prepared for this. Okay. Now in your subconscious thoughts, the reason why you cannot find healing yet, or it's going to be challenging for you to find healing is because subconsciously you're thinking about the desire that you have of a union, a soulmate union, a soulmate connection. For some of you guys, you guys are thinking of the desire that you have of having a partner, having some kind of a soulmate here to really kind of, you know, be on a journey with, to have experiences with. So in your subconscious thoughts, you do want love, even though you might be denying yourself of this what your subconscious is saying is you want love. You want to be loved. You want to love. You want to feel loved. Okay. Also here at the four of pentacles, I do see that somebody sees you as closed off. Somebody around you sees you as not opening up financially, not opening up emotionally. They see you as very closed off. Okay. Now also here at the world reverse basically says you need to close out chapters or a chapter in the past that perhaps you still have not yet closed out. It could also be chapters in your present moment. If you want something new in the present moment, or it's going to be easier for you to move towards something new when you close out something here that you're still keeping halfway opened. It's kind of like you have one foot in one foot out of the situation. And when you have one foot in and one foot out, you don't go, you don't go to the future and you don't, you know, kind of um, you're not able to experience the present moments because you're just kind of like in the middle. You're kind of keeping yourself in limbo. So liberate yourself, claim your independence, close out chapters that are no longer for you. Okay. Also here, page of wands. What this is saying is that you're either going to receive a message or you are preparing to send a message out. I feel like for most of you guys, you will be receiving this message, a very enthusiastic individual, person here has their eye on you. They want to get to know you. They want to, you know, kind of explore more of you. They're very enthusiastic. Okay. I feel like this individual is feeling very excited about you. Now let's go ahead and clarify why claim your independence is here as your dominant energy. Why is claim your independence here as your dominant energy? The Knight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands at the bottom, the Ace of Swords could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Whatever sign this 
Pisces. I do see that with claim your spirit, okay, claim your independence. I do sense that there's some kind of energy here where you're going to have to tell it like it is, open up the lines of communication. Somebody here has been closed off with regards to saying something. There's still a lot of unsaid words, okay, that need to be spoken, that need to be released in order to find healing, okay? I'm also getting that somebody here might have so much pent up energy, so many pent up emotions that when somebody gets triggered, this person is just going to kind of, you know, kind of like release those pent up emotions like an avalanche. So be prepared. Somebody here might trigger you or you might trigger them. Okay. That sort of energy, because there's going to be an outpour of communication of information. Okay. Very quick information coming to you or you expressing this towards somebody else. Now also here with these other energies, I do see that with claim your independence, stop waiting for somebody to give you the answer. Stop waiting for something to happen. This is all about you claiming the fact that you are independent enough to make something happen yourself. Okay. If you've been building up four walls to protect your feelings, to protect your emotions, if you've been feeling a little bit defensive, it's time for you to drop those walls. Okay. Just a little bit in order for you to not block off opportunities that want to come in your way. We're going to be going into the extended ring to see who this person is coming in towards you. Okay. We're going to see more so about who this soulmate union is, this potential individual with the King of Wands, what this message is as well, okay? So basically diving into this person's deeper thoughts, feelings, emotions towards you, their next moves, actions towards you, how this person sees you, the situation, how this entire situation is all gonna develop for you. And we will finalize the reading with any advice from Sir. If you wanna go ahead and check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts, about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10. And in addition, three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.